I'm Jason Carter. Physical optimization defines my life. The day I was born, doctors nearly killed me with medical malpractice. They said I'd never walk. I've been proving them wrong for 35 years. It's easier than you think to obtain super optimal health. I've devoted my life to it, and with my help, you can too. I'm Jason Carter, and this is Enzyme Mental. And welcome to Enzyme Mental. I'm Jason Carter, and today I wanted to talk to you about one of the most natural and most effective ways to maintain the immune system during cold and flu season, or really any time throughout the year. It's a food that is actually nature's first food for mammals. And that, of course, is colostrum. Colostrum is an immune and growth-enhancing fluid which protects the newborn against bacteria, viruses, toxins, and it largely activates gut activity. Although referred to as a milk product, colostrum is actually radically different than milk and contains countless immunoglobulins, or antibodies, and also natural growth factors that milk does not. It's often thought of as a milk product because in supplement form it often comes from a bovine or cow source. So that's for often why people think of it as being a dairy product. As we grow older or otherwise get weakened from disease, colostrum can replace natural immune defenses that decline with time, supporting longevity and overall quality of life. The natural growth hormones that colostrum provides can dramatically slow the aging process over time also. These growth factors in colostrum can help to build, retain, and repair muscle, bone, nerve, and cartilage while also stimulating fat burning. Unlike any other protein, colostrum can actually inhibit your natural digestive enzyme trypsin, allowing the colostrum to remain active in the body rather than being regularly digested. This is also one reason, possibly, that the immune factors found in whey protein are largely ineffective. These same compounds in whey protein are digested for fuel, so they don't really benefit your bloodstream. Even though if you look at a container of whey protein, it often heavily promotes the fact that it has immunoglobulins in the whey protein. Colostrum is also a rich source of lactoferrin, which provides an easily digestible form of iron for humans that is unavailable to invading pathogens who otherwise need iron to stimulate their own growth. So what are immunoglobulins? Immunoglobulins are powerful, specific, and broad-spectrum antiviral and antibacterial defenders. They're also known as antibodies, and their use in the treatment of disease is not new at all. Immunoglobulins are the most important and abundant immune factors found in colostrum. They are large protein molecules made of amino acids that are soluble in saline solutions or salt solutions, but not in pure water. Powdered colostrum will not dissolve in water very easily. Immunoglobulins normally make up about 45% of the proteins in our blood serum, and there are five classes of immunoglobulins found in all mammals, including humans. They begin with the abbreviation IG and are distinguished from one another by capital letters, which can be anywhere from A, D, E, G, and M. Each immunoglobulin has its own unique structure and job to do in the body, and these immunoglobulins are protein chains that make up hundreds of amino acids. One of the most important linking and active components of immunoglobulins is sulfur, a mineral that is very important to our metabolism and is also highly antibiotic. Colostrum contains all immunoglobulins. IgG, the most abundant immunoglobulin found in colostrum, is carried in the lymph and circulatory systems where it is effective in neutralizing toxins and other invaders. We find secretory IgA, which is also known as SIgA, in saliva, tears, and mucous membranes. A second type of IgA operates in the blood serum. IgM is known to destroy bacteria, and IgE and IgD are highly antiviral. Colostrum, again, contains all of these, naturally. Immunoglobulins are found separately and in innumerable combinations. Each type and combination is able to attach to, penetrate, destroy, or immobilize a specific antigen. The mucous membranes of the body are coated with immunoglobulins that help provide a barrier to invading organisms. If antigens get past the Igs on the mucal surfaces, they have to face IgM and IgG immunoglobulins in the body. Immunoglobulins that circulate in the lymph and blood are particularly effective at destroying bacteria and viruses. 
After a human or a cow has successfully overcome disease, it carries an immunity for that disease for many years, even for a lifetime. Immunity is passed on to the offspring through the placenta and the colostrum. Humans pass on most of this immunity through the placenta, whereas cow immunity is actually not passed through the placenta, but through the colostrum specifically. This is why bovine colostrum has as much as 10 to 20 times more immune factors than human colostrum, and why the calf probably wouldn't survive without it. The majority of immunoglobulins are found and produced in the bowel, and IgG in particular not only stays in the bowel, but penetrates the small intestine and enters the bloodstream. So there are quite a few components to colostrum, but for today, guys, I just want you to know about the immunoglobulins that colostrum contains, and these are components that you ingest every time you take colostrum, which is readily available as either capsules or powder or chewables. I would try to get it as a powder in supplement form, ideally, because that would have the least amount of processing, and try to mix it with something that is cold or lukewarm, but nothing hot. So, for example, you would not want to make something like colostrum hot chocolate, because that would actually denature a lot of the delicate nutrients and growth components in colostrum. But the best part about colostrum is that, again, it's a food, and so in this way, colostrum is good any time of year, especially during the cold and flu season. Thanks for watching. I'm Jason Carter, and I'll see you next time on Enzyme Mental. Stay healthy.